Hi all, I'm Dave. Welcome back to my Hand of the Week series. This hand I played on BBO um, recently, and with nobody vulnerable, um, North opens one club, East it's take out double, South passes. I'm sitting in the West seat, I respond one heart, uh, East bids three hearts, and I certainly feel like I have enough to go to four hearts. I'm actually near the top of my range. Uh, I shouldn't have more than seven points, and I have six. So I go ahead and bid four hearts. And I get the king of spades lead. Now if I look at the hand from the west perspective, I have three spade losers. I uh, will be able to rough one of them. Don't have any heart losers. I have potentially two diamond losers, and I have no club losers. So it looks like I'm comfortably making 10 tricks. And this also looks like a perfect strip hand, where you strip the side suits, you take a deep diamond finesse at the end, and you in play south into guaranteeing your contract, even if they have both the king and the jack of diamonds. So I approach the hand from that perspective, and now I pull trump. North shows out, unfortunately. What I'm really ideally looking for is to have Trump both in my hand and dummy when I execute the final deep finesse. But it might work anyway because I should be able to rough a spade and hopefully take all of the spades out of the south hand. So that's what I do. I pull Trump. <clears throat> and rough a spade and get to my hand with the club. And now when I lead a diamond, north sticks in the jack. And I can cover it with the queen and I do indeed guarantee my contract at this point, but I'm stuck in dummy and I have to lose a diamond. And this gives me only 10 tricks, which I make my contract, but I give up a potential 11th trick that I could have made, and in match point, this is really important. So, how should I have played it? Uh, if I get the same lead, and continuation. And shift to club. At this point, I can hope that hearts are split 2-2, two, two, draw two rounds of hearts, rough a spade, get back to my hand with the club, stripping the side suits, and then take a diamond finesse. And that would guarantee my contract. But I'm ignoring the bidding when I do that. Uh, because North has bid and then led the King of Spades, so I know South has the Ace of Spades, and there's virtually no way that South can have both the King and the Jack of Diamonds, which is the only threat to the contract. And the only reason to really play the hand as a stripping the side suits hand. A far better way for me to play this hand is to put North on both the King and the Jack of Diamonds and double finesse him while I have the entries. So um, after I'll pull Trump. And they don't split 2-2, two, two, so I can't really uh, 
pull off the play that I was thinking of anyway. <clears throat> and at this point, I could rough a spade and dummy, get back to my hand, but I've already seen what happens is I get trapped in dummy. So I can't do that. Um, I have to, at this point, take the deep or the, the deep diamond finesse, <clears throat> which works, and now I can actually get back to my hand using the king of clubs to take the diamond finesse again. And um, this time, it doesn't matter whether he covers or not, I don't get trapped in dummy. And now I can claim the rest of the tricks. Um, Ace diamonds is good, and I can rough the third spade. So on this particular hand, the stripping of the side suits turns out to be the losing play. Because of the bidding and because of the fact that North has to have one of the two diamond honors, it's definitely the superior line of play to make 11 tricks, which at match points is huge. So thanks all for your attention, and I will see you back here next time.